today I'm going to be teaching you how to solve the Rubik's Cube using F2L. So basically, um, we're, what I'm going to be going over is how to solve the cross upside down, how to solve these pairs, this piece and this piece at the same time, instead of doing it individually, like how you would normally do it like this piece and this piece. So uh, then, and then that's F2O. So basically, you'll do the cross upside down, and then you'll do these two, and then, and it makes it faster. And then you'll do yellow like regular. I'll briefly explain that because um, if you're watching this for the first time and you don't know the beginner's method, it's fine. Just um, just make sure you know this. Alright. So I'm going to explain to you how to solve the cross upside down. So yeah, this is pretty easy. It makes it faster um, and just e easier because um, you can see the white now. Because when you're doing it here and you wanted to turn something up from the bottom, you can't see if the white's there or not. So you have to look down. And then when you're done, you have to turn it over. So, so basically you're just always going to be on the yellow. So just have the yellow on top or whatever color you like doing but uh, most people like doing the white on the bottom and yellow on the top so that's what I'm going to be explaining it as and then basically um, you want to put it down and then look look for all the edges so there's one right here it's in place so I can just push it like that uh, I just push one in place right now like that um, here's a red one that I could just easily slip and then this one's flipped because you, you see I go like that, but I could also go like that. Okay, so so you see all of it. And then after I'm done going through one solve, I'm going to go back and show you guys all the other um, possibilities there. Alright, so let me, uh, let me mix it up a little more. I'm just showing you guys examples. Okay, so now... Um, we have one that's flipped, one that's still on here, and then we have one, another one that's in place. So we just need this, these two right here. Okay, so oh, right, let's begin. All right, so we already got two. So let's pretend these weren't in place, okay? All right, so we'll see. All right, so we got one right here and one right here, and then we got blue and red. All right, so I see that um, we could easily push one of these into place on the bottom so we're just going to move it to its correct color and we know that the sun we can just easily see by going like that uh, it's in the correct spot and then we're going to find one on top now because um, we can't put this red one into place yet without messing something up or just making it harder for yourself if that makes sense because if you wanted to put this in place like this you would have to Turn it up, turn it to the side, and turn it down, and then turn it back. But let's not worry about that right now. If you wanted to do that, you could, because that's just, it's whatever. Okay, so now, uh, so we got a flipped one here. We're going to push it to the green side, because you see it has green on the top. Alright, so now we have, um, we have it matched up, but it's flipped over, like you'd see in the, the regular beginner's method. It's flipped over, so... We're going to uh, flip it. So in order to do that, be ready. So to flip one over when it's on the top, you're just going to go um, top to the left, left downwards, front to the right, and right up. Now this hasn't messed anything up on the bottom. Alright, so we, we still have our blue piece. And then now this piece is flipped, so all we have to do is turn it. And we're good. Or even if you want to do, you, instead of turning it up, you could just turn it down and then turn it back. Whatever way, I'll show you that again. So instead of um, doing this, so you do top to the left, left down, and then instead of doing right up or front to the right, you do um, front to the left, and that'll turn it down into place already. So you don't have to do that extra step. And turn the left down like always. All right, now we got this last one here. All right, so then when the last one's like right here and it's being weird, um, just take it up 
All right, so push it up and then push it over one or two and push it down. Okay, so you didn't mess anything up that is already completed. And then you push it into its correct color and push it down if it's not flipped. All right, and then if one's flipped here already, um, here, I'll show you. All right, so say this one is flipped. You see how it's orange and um, white? So we want the white on top and the orange here. So we are just going to turn the front to the left, turn the bottom to the left, turn the left down, and turn the bottom to the right. Okay. Now that's how you solve the cross upside down. This just makes it faster. You don't have to do this upside down, but it's just it makes it easier to solve the rest. Now let's get on with the hard part. All right, so first of all, you want to find um, these pairs. So in this case, it'd be, um, in this case, we're going to be doing the blue and red first. So we have the blue and red, blue and red, and then white. Okay, so this is the first possibility. So we want to get, we want to get these two lined up correctly so we can just easily push them down and do its correct place like that. So... Let me show you the first possibility. All right, so what we want to do is make sure these are separated from each other. See how they're right next to each other? We want them separated from each other. Okay, so in order to do that, we want to um, pick a spot where you're not going to mess up anything. So right now, nothing is completed yet on uh, the uh, pairs, so we're good. So you just want to turn the bottom down, whichever side it is. It might be the right might be the left, in this case it's right. We're going to turn the right side down. We're going to turn this side to the left. Turn it back up. Now we are doing this according to this color. So we see it's not going to match up because if we do that or if we put it back like this, it's not going to do anything. Okay, so you want to push it one more time. So you're going to push the right side down and push the top to the left. And we'll push the right back up all right now this is the next case so after you've separated them good uh, you, and you checked it didn't work you know try the next slot over so there's um you want to make sure that um that like these are the two bad slots because they're right next to the piece so you don't want them here and these two are good so in this case this one's the correct one and this one's not you, just, you have to figure that out along the way. And then the first case here is that the white is facing toward us. And either the um, the uh, um, other piece is on the right or the left. It doesn't matter. So if it was just um, if it was just on this side and the white was still there and this piece was on this side, it would be the same. I just want to get that clear. So don't panic, it's just the same thing, just going to the left. All right, now, so you see we have the white here and then we have these two colors are bad. They're not the same. So it's red and that's actually a good thing. So all we have to do is if they're not the same color and the white's in front of you, going to the left or the right, you just wanna turn the front and make sure you're not messing up this part when you're doing it. Turn the front to the right, and turn the the top um, two times in any direction, and then just turn it down. And now you see you've lined up these two correctly. And now you could just um, place it in by either if it's on the right or the left. This is the same thing, just opposite. All right, so this is how it's done. So um, just top to the left, right up. Tap to the right, and right down. And then you see we have this part, so we put them in together. Now, since I'm explaining this kind of slow, um, it's going to be slow, right? So if I'm, if you're doing this like super fast, it's gonna get faster. All right, now we got a next one right here. So we got one right here, and now the white's in the corner this time, in the bottom. So what we wanna do, is um, we want to make sure this is not going to be brung up with this piece right next to each other like I explained earlier. So we, what we want to do is bring it away from it. Okay, so 
So make sure it's not this way because if it was that way, then it, it won't get to it. So just make sure it's away from it. Okay, so you see it's not going to interfere with it. Now you just want to turn your side up. It could be the left or the right. It's the left, so turn the left side up. And turn the top to the right. To the left down. So, and now they're separated. And now um, we can turn. Um, since the, um, the white's on the top, it doesn't matter about what this piece is. Just turn this to match up in the correct um, color like this. So you have like a line of green in this. But it's going to be like a line of the same color. Okay, so then after that you want to find um, your other piece. So we got this one here and this one here. Now you have to look at what color is on the top. So it's orange. And you want to look what side orange is on. So since it's on the right. We are going to turn the orange to the opposite side, so to the left. Okay, so you want to turn, you want to turn that color to the left. You want to turn this white piece until it matches up with this. It could be one turn, two turns, and then you want to turn it up, and then see how it's matched. So you, and so we don't mess anything up. Um, you just turn it, make sure nothing's messed up. Okay. And now we want to match this into here, so we're just going to do that same thing. All right, top to the right, left up, top to the left, and left down. So now we have this this slot and this slot completed. We need two more slots. All right, so let's find the, the next pair. All right, so we have this one and this one. So the green and red. So what we want to do is when the edge we want to pair up with this one is on the bottom. Same thing as when it was the corner. Just want to make sure we are not going like, um, we are not like putting it in the thing, which is kind of impossible. Just make sure it's not like that. So where they're connected, you want to put it away from it and then bring it up and then turn it once or twice. No, actually, just turn it once because um, you don't want to mess it up. And if you want to, you can, but it's fine. Just once is fine, just in the opposite direction. So if you're turning up right, you're gonna turn up. You're gonna turn this to the left, left, right. Okay, you get the idea. All right, now this next case is kind of a hard one, um, but all right. So you got them separated. You want to put this one here, but you notice um, you can't um, bring it down and put it into place like that, all right? And you notice that. And you can't um, do this either or else that'll mess it up. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure there's an uncompleted side in the back and your piece is in front like this. So you can see it here. This piece is uncompleted, this pair. And this piece is good. So now we just wanna turn the right down, turn the top to the left turn the right up so now we have another um, thing so um, it's in so this so basically what we're doing is we're turning this one to here so we're like um uh, and you know how I said before how like these two are bad so now um, so since we're doing it this way so we're turning this piece to the other side now instead of the instead of the corner all right so we're doing this all right, now, um, since um, the edge is in the other slot, um, so we changed it from here to here. Now we're just going to do that thing I told you before. So this is that other possibility. Okay, so we just want to match it up again. Okay, and then we want to turn the right to the left, or turn the top to the right, my bad. And turn the left up, top to the left, left down. All right, then the last case. All right, I think this is the last case anyways. There might be more. All right, so when the two colors are opposite, white is in front of you and the other color is in back. So basically like the white is lined up like this. You want to change this edge piece to here. So we're changing it to the next one because these two are bad, remember? You can't put them there. 
the right. We don't want to mess anything up, so um, just make sure there's nothing completed in this back spot, remember? And then we just want to go over and do the thing. And then we have the whole middle completed. I think there's a few more um, possibilities that I'll go over and end with you. But for now, let's just get on with the um, yellow. So if you don't know how to do the yellow, I'll show you. So you're either going to have a backwards L right here. Right, it has to be right here. Or you're going to have a line. And then you're just going to do the algorithm um, front to the left, top to the left, right up, top to the right, right down, and front to the left. And then you should have, if you had the line before, you should have the backwards L now. If you didn't have anything before, then it'll take you to the line to this and then you got this, you're going to do the same exact algorithm. And then you should have a plus. Hey, you're either going to have two corners or uh, the fish like here. This is the one you want. But um, just keep on doing this algorithm until you get it. Um, if there's two corners in the back right here, yeah, put them to the back. The yellow corners. Like if the, the yellow was on top in the corners. If there's just one in the corner like this, that's the one you want, the fish. And then if there's two in the corners diagonally, um, just put them put them in the corners like this. Okay, and so not like this, like this. And so, since we got this one, we want the fish in this corner, the bottom left. And then we want to do the algorithm right up, top to the left, right down. Top to the left, right up, top to the right twice, then turn the right down, and then put the fish back in this corner right here, and do that algorithm one more time. If you have to rewind because you need it again, go ahead and do that. Okay, and then, hold on. Alright, now you should have... Um, either um, two that are um, the same color here or two that are the same color here okay like this all right it doesn't matter just do if you have the same color in the cor in the corners um, just do the algorithm and then you should have this one so you don't have to do the extra step now place it in the back so you can't see it so you can't see it and then we want to do um, right up, uh, or no, actually, never mind, scratch that, All right. right down, front to the right, right down, back, twice, right up, front to the left, right down, back, twice, right up, twice. Now turn it to where there's one completed side. If there are none completed sides, just you're going to have to do this twice. It's fine. And then you have the one completed side. You're going to put it on the back like last time. And then you want to find this piece. So since it's blue, blue is to the right. So we know we are going to rotate these three to the right. So all we have to do is do this algorithm. And this, there's one going to the left. So I'll show you the one going to the left first, and then I'll show you the one going to the right, okay? So if it was going to the left, which it's not, but I'll show you. So if it's going to the left, do front to the right twice. Do the um, top to the left, left down, right down, front to the right twice, left up right up top to the left and front to the right all right now hold up okay so now if you want it going to the right we are going to do 
The same thing, just opposite from the left. We are going to do front to the right. Now we are going to move the top to the right once. Now we're going to move the left down, right down, front to the right twice, left up, right up, top to the left, and the front down twice. And you have solved the Rubik's Cube using F2L. Um, I'll sh get to the extra um, possibilities right here. Okay, so the next possibility in using um, F2L in these pairs is that they're going to be side by side right here. See how I got these two side by side? Alright, so what we want to do is we want to take it out of place. So we're going to bring it up and we're going to just turn it once or twice. Bring it down, okay? And now they're still right next to each other. So we want to um, um, take them apart. So make sure there's nothing in back. And we're going to um, do that where we put them in back and then and then you do what you always do and then you put them in place same thing with this alright and there Alright, so this is the last possibility here. So you got some pairs completed, so you don't want to mess up those. So you want to make sure there's an uncompleted corner and a uh, pair in the back. And then you want, and then for your pair, your pair that you're completing, you have two of the colors that are the same on the top. And then you have the white to the right or to the left, it depends. Then you have the orange in front, or other color in front, and then that other colors um, on the left. So you see, so it's basically the same. So, like, like so the, so if you're looking at it this way, the orange is to the left, the blue is on top. Orange is to the left, blue is on top. And then the white is to the right, so make sure you have that thing in back, like you just said. And you want to turn the right down top to the right and right up and then push it into place and then that's how you complete that all right guys thanks for watching i think those are all the possibilities if you get another possibility that i did not explain but i think i explained all of it but if um there's one that i didn't that i didn't explain then uh tell me in the comments below Leave a like. I'll see you guys. That I'm at an all time. <laughs>